Hey everybody, welcome in. It's Clay Share Con day three, and we are getting towards the end of the day. You know, I have got a grinding bottoms. How to get smooth bottoms, actually, is what we're calling it. How to get smooth bottoms using diamond core tools, grinding discs. So I'm gonna show you how to use these right here. This will be a quick one, only about 10 minutes for this. And then after this, we're gonna do spin art glazing. And the reason this is a quick one is I have to get all my glazing materials and bring them over here and I need about 15 to 20 minutes to do that. It takes a little while because there's a lot of other stuff that goes in. So, but that will be happening after this. So what I have here are diamond core tools, grinding discs. They come in different um, grits and they have, let's see, this is the 60, this one is the 120 and this one is the it'll be the finest it should be a, a 240 I would think right and it is a 240 so they come in 60 120 and 240 60 being your roughest 120 being in the middle and 240 your finest so if you're going to be grinding your bottoms um, you know and you have a lot of material to grind off you might want to start with the 60 with the one with the biggest grit if you just want an all-around good grinding pad, the 120 is where I would go with that grit. And then 240 is very fine. It gives you that polish on the end. It just smooths everything out. And it'll give you the smallest, smoothest bottoms ever. So I did clean my wheel <laughs> in between the broadcasts because I've been throwing all day. So it was a bit messy. I switched out the bucket. This wheel, the way it's designed is you don't remove a splash pan. I just have a drain hole in the front. And so everything goes into a bucket. And I switched down to a bucket that is not full of reclaimed clay. It's just empty. So all my little grind off bits can be brushed down into that. I have got a bowl of water just because while you're grinding, you want to keep it wet. So I'm going to use that bowl of water and just line this up on my bat pins. And I left the gripper pad on. You, you could, if you're not using a gripper pad, you don't need it. Just makes it nicer just keeps everything from being wibbly wobbly there all right do you have to be watching tonight the after party to receive giveaway the after party is not where the giveaways and you don't have to watch the after party is not just an after party there's a surprise thing going on there's actually a there's a thing happening a type of thing that you do outside with fire and pots and coolness and we haven't been telling you because well, we wanted to make a big surprise, but I don't want you all being like, oh, what are they doing? They're doing something, uh, and I don't want you to miss out. <laughs> so you want to keep the grinding disc wet, and I'm going to start here with the biggest grit. That's the 60, and I have got a, a mug. This is a wheel. This is not a wheel-thrown mug. This is a hand-built mug, and I glazed it with shadow blue and cream, and this one was in my kiln, and it fired a little too hot. So I'm going to go ahead and grind it down. Now, you should wear eye protection when you're doing this. I just broke my glasses. Uh, I guess, Kev, I don't know. You want to grab me another pair of glasses hanging on the second pot up closest to us. There's a rounded second pot up, second pot up closest to us. Is that close? Yes, that's closest to us, baby. That's the one. Thanks. <laughs> I got the second part up, but that was, I mean, the closest to us, but that was the third pot up. No, that's the second one on the wall. How many are hanging there? I can't. That's not hanging on the wall. That's just standing on the shelf. Difference. All right, I'm going to wear my glasses because I want to make sure that I, um, uh, these are, they'll work. They'll work. Just, it's, everything's weird. So Diamond Core Tools makes uh, a gripper, like a rubber belt that you can put around this to help you hang on to your pot. You might want to turn the sound down too. Things yeah, are so going to. Don't, don't grind and talk at the same time. Okay. I won't grind and talk. Keep it wet. Keep everything wet. It's already done an amazing job grinding that bottom. Wow. So if you have clay drips, let's just...
Ooh, that's nice. So that's the big bit. And I would start with that to get most of it off. Now I've got enough off that I just want to take it down a little more. Let's put that there. I'm going to switch to my 120. And again, if I was only going to get one, I would have bought the 120. That's what I would have got instead of buying the whole set, which you know me, if it comes in a set, I buy all of them. I just can't help myself. Now you can use other things to grind your bottoms. You can use Dremel tools. You could use an angle grinder. You could have some sort of grinding system um, other than this. This is just really great because it goes on your, I'm, I'll talk first and I'll grind. It goes on your wheel and it's easy to use just after your pieces come out of the glaze kiln, you can just do a session of grinding. Nice, so nice. Don't worry, it's not sharp, it won't cut me. That's really good. Got one little area here, a little more water on. So this is for grinding, um, you know, like we had an issue with the glaze running, but if you wanted to do, you kind of want to hear it. You can hear it. Yeah. You want to hear it? So you turn your volume off. That's what we should do, Kev. You all can turn your volume off. <laughs> so say you have a piece that you don't want to grind the bottom down. So this one, because you don't have a glaze problem, this one just needs to be finished, right? So you could get this 240 grit. I mean, 120 grit and use it for everything. But if you buy all three, this is how you use all three, right? Then you'd switch to this really, you see, I've been using this one. This is the one I use a lot for just finishing work. Um, you know, I'll just take a piece after it comes out of the kiln. And even if it's perfect, no problems at all, I might want to just make sure that bottom is as smooth as possibly, as it possibly can be, right? And so we'll just grind this. And that's it. That's it. That's all. That fast. So that one's done. I got another one. I'll show you how fast they go. That's it. Done. Smooth as can be. The smoothest bottom. Uh, I don't know if the camera will focus. Probably not because that camera's bad. Nope, it, did. it did. This is so smooth. So smooth. So if you're looking for something that um, is just another way to finish, we talk about smooth bottoms. Smooth bottoms t start with when we're making the piece, right? Now this one could use it. Let's give it, give it a go. So you can smooth your hand-built pieces too if you want to. Now I have a really smooth, really smooth. Let's see if that will focus on that. We'll see. So we have this really smooth bottom here. That's really nice. Um, and I grinded the glaze, I, I ground the glaze down. Um, I don't mind it being a little bump, sticking out a little bit. Might take a little more off. There, just to finish it. Uh, something like this would be considered a second if I was gonna sell it. Other than that, it's a great mug. There's nothing wrong with this mug. It just has a little extra glaze drip and glaze drips are fine as long as they're not sharp and as long as nobody's going to get cut on them, right? So that's where we have to worry. There's a little bump here. I'm going to see if I can get that. Yeah, <laughs> like a champ. That was, that was easy. You will love grinding your bottoms, I promise. So do you not need to wear a mask when grinding? No, because this is wet. You see all the water we're putting on here? There's zero dust, no dust at all. If you were grinding in a dry situation, yes, but you should never do that. You should always use water and wet grind. One, because these are diamond grinding discs, so it's best to grind wet. Um, and it's better for your health. 
it, there's no there's um, no advantage, and I think it grinds better when it's wet. I don't know for a fact about the physics of grinding because I don't do a lot of this and I don't know much about tools and things, but yeah, you grind wet, so you're good. All right, so you got the different angles to watch. The, I know the great cameraman. And you've been using yours for about three years and they're still going strong. Right, so they're expensive. I will not lie. Um, first time I bought one, I was like, whole, first time I saw them, I didn't buy one. I was like, holy smokes. That was at Ansika like years ago, 10 or so. And then I went back, a friend of mine got one and she was talking all the time about it. I got sick of hearing about her grinding disc from Diamond Core Tools that I said, okay, next year I will, I know how much they are, I'll go get one. And so I bought uh, one and loved it, got a set and love that too. So um, they're the kind of thing that I don't think I'm ever going to wear out. Like I think I invested and Diamond Core Tools will make no more money off of me for this piece right here. So... Um, because I don't think I'll need another one. <laughs> They're worth every penny if you glaze like me, I do, Missy says. So I just, honestly, I'm really bad about cleaning them. You see what I'm doing right now? I just take them off the wheel. I pat them dry. Um, I stand them up. I store these with, next to, I have a little area where all my bats stand up. They just stand up and sit over there. And when I need them, I grab them. So how do you smooth without a wheel? You hand build only. Yeah. So I do have a class on grinding bottoms and we don't uh, just use the wheel. You can use a Dremel tool with an attachment and you can grind things smooth. You can also get a sanding pad and you can sand it by hand. You can do all this with hand, with your hands. It's just much, much faster to do it this way. So there we go. How to get smooth bottoms with diamond core tools. Grinding discs, you know I'm all about the smooth bottoms. There's lots of other ways, but this is a really great way if you have a wheel. And many people are getting the Artista Speedball wheel or want to. This will fit on that little wheel. So if you hand build and you're thinking of getting a pottery wheel just for like the wah and some other things and maybe a little light wheel throwing, these would be perfect for that. All right, I'll be back in 15 minutes. We will be doing spin art glazing i love this i love teaching this but i gotta go find my cmc gum and get some bottles and my bisque wear out because we're gonna glaze and i'll see y'all back in about 15 minutes